we're going to pick up where we left off from the first video. So we said that the observed value was 90. For the predicted one, we said we had to put the table in Desmos. So I put the table in, we did the Y1 tilde MX1 plus B, and then we're typing in the equation that Desmos gives us. And for working seven hours, that is an X. So now I'm going to type in X equals seven and find where they intersect. And they intersect at 77.273. And I have to subtract those numbers. Ninety minus seventy-seven point two seven three, and so I get twelve point seven two seven. That's the difference between the observed and the predicted. Number 13, a person is waiting in line to get into a sporting event. The data in the table represents the relative position and feet of a person to the entry gate over time and seconds. What does the slope of the linear equation that models the data represent? So the first one says the person's speed is increasing. The person's speed is decreasing. The person's speed is doing neither because it's linear, which means it's going at a constant rate means the speed is staying the same. It's not increasing or decreasing. The speed is not. Now, the person's position is changing. And if you look at this, the person is getting closer and closer to the gate, which makes sense, right? You get in line and you move closer and closer. So the person is moving closer to the entry gate at a rate of 1.5 feet per second. It's going down by 1.5. So they're moving closer to the entry gate. Number 14, students were asked how many minutes they spend doing homework during one week. The correlation coefficient of the line of best fit for the data is 0.81. So that's the correlation coefficient. So that's the R value. 0.81 is bigger than 0.5, so that means it's strong and it's positive. So it is strong positive. So it's a strong correlation. B says no correlation. We know B is wrong. C says strong correlation, and D says no correlation. So it's either A or C. The correlation coefficient indicates a strong correlation, which means that spending more time on homework causes higher test scores. So spending more time on homework means that you are more likely to have a higher test score. That's why it has a strong correlation. You are more likely to have a higher test score, but it doesn't cause it. Some people get higher test scores just because they're smarter, even when they don't even do their homework. Okay, now that's not true in most cases. So the answer is C, it indicates a strong correlation, but this does not mean that spending more time on homework causes higher test scores. Okay, so it doesn't cause one another.